Hello and welcome back, I am the Aced Inventor and I like to make things. In my previous video, one of you commented that I should use the DHT11 sensor with Wi-Fi to be able to track the temperature from anywhere. So, in this video we are going to be using the this sensor with Wi-Fi. If you have not watched part 1, 2, or 3, you can go and watch them. The link will be in the description below, or you can click on the i icon on the top of the video. So before we get into making this project, comment down below what I should make for a project, and I will try to make it in a future video. So, if you want to see how it is built, let's get into it. The components for this project are, 1 DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. 1 Note MCU ESP8266. 1 breadboard and some jumper wires. Connect the DHT11 ground to the Node MCU's ground. Connect the DHT11 power to Node MCU's 3.3 volts. And lastly connect the DHT11 signal out to digital pin 2 of the Node MCU. Open the Blink application on your device. Now click on New Project. Title the project, DHT11 and set your device as Node MCU. Create your project. We will use the authentication token later on, but for now click OK. Drag and drop the gauge on the screen. Tap on it. Set the title to temperature. Change the input to V4 and set the number from 0 to 122. In the label add degrees Fahrenheit. Set the text color to white and the reading rate to push. Drag and drop the label on the screen. Tap on it. Now set the input to V1 and the value from 0 to 50. In the label add degrees Celsius. Set the text color to green and the reading rate to push. Repeat the steps for the label for Fahrenheit. Now drag and drop another gauge on the screen. and another label for the humidity. You can also add a button if you want which will connect to D0 to test if the onboard LED is working. This will also show us the two-way communication between the app and the Note MCU. After we are done making the app, we can upload the program to the board. Connect your Arduino to your computer. There are a few things you will have to change in the code. When you were creating the app, an authentication token was sent to your email. Copy and paste it here. Set your SSID and password for your internet. Make sure you have selected the correct board and COM port. Click upload and wait for the program to upload. Click play on the app. As you can see the temperature and humidity are being updated live to the app. You can also click on the button to turn on and off the LED light on the Note MCU. Now to test if everything is working properly, we can go ahead and put a piece of ice on the sensor. If we wait a bit, we can see that the temperature and humidity are dropping. After a while, if we remove the ice, we can see that the temperature is being updated. You can view the temperature from anywhere in the world if the Note MCU is connected to internet and if you are connected to the internet. If you liked my video, please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon to always get notified when I upload a new video. I will meet you guys with a new project really soon. Bye.